Nation, it's your boy Jonathan, and I want to welcome you guys back to John's Corner. I know it's been a while since I've put out a new video, but I'm back. Forgive me. Uh, so there's some stuff I wanted to cover. First and foremost, if you haven't seen Marvel's first foray into Hulu type stuff with Runaways, you are missing out. It's 10 episodes, the whole first season's out already. And it is mind-blowing. I think it might be some of the best television Marvel has done. Like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Daredevil have always been, like, my, my go-to favorites. But, oh, Runaways is in the same breath. So good. And it's not just because it has both Spike and Cole in it. Which it does. Which is just so awesome. But, no, it's, it's just such a great, brilliant show. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you go check it out right now. Stop what you're doing. Well, keep watching this video. But then go watch that. You need to watch that. Um, Cause it's just so damn good. Uh, Uncanny Fans also makes it return today. I'll put a link down below. But you guys should go check that out. I talk about uh, the possibility of Star Trek's movies and TV fusing back into one company, which would be nice. And I also talk about Lucasfilms um, blaming Chewbacca for why they erased the EU and doomed us all to a bunch of mediocre movies that all suck. Did I say that all out? I'm sorry. Never mind that. <laughs> but, um, I wanted to talk about another merger today on the rebirth of John's Corner. And that's, you know, Disney talking about buying out Fox and what this could mean. Because I've seen a lot of people talking about, like, um, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four coming back to the MCU. And I guess the Fantastic Four is a bit more complicated because another company also owns part of the rights. But I'm sure that could be worked out. Like they worked out, like this other company has been working with Fox this whole time. And Marvel worked out a deal with Sony. So I'm sure they could work out a deal with this other company. I'm not too worried about that. And I think you could introduce the Fantastic Four and you could make it work. Like you could do kind of like the Captain Marvel movie that's coming out that takes place in the 90s. You could do that with the Fantastic Four. Have it take place in the 90s, and then they go out to space, deal with whatever, and then they do, like, another movie in space, and then they have their big return, you know? And you could kind of explain why they haven't been there and still make it so that they're, like, these long-established heroes. It could be cool. It could be a lot of fun. I would really like to see I just I really want a good Fantastic Four movie. The other thing I've been hearing a lot about is people saying that we could fit the... X-Men Cinematic Universe and with the MCU and no, no you can't, you cannot, no, whoever said that bad, you are bad people, no, Deadpool I'll give you, you could fit Deadpool into the MCU and it won't cause too much controversy, the rest of the movies, no. I love Logan. Logan's my favorite X-Men movie out yet, but that wouldn't even fit because it ties in too much with the other X-Men movies. Why would the other X-Men movies not work? Well, A, how do you explain that all that stuff that happened doesn't fit in with it? By this point in the MCU, you could explain that there are X-Men, that there are mutants, and that it's not a big issue because no one's really had to deal with that yet. But it's gotten to the point where superheroes and people with powers aren't really that big a deal anymore. You know, it's not like, oh my god, that's so brand new and shiny. You can make it work. But the X-Men movies have been big and extravagant things. It just wouldn't fit in. Not to mention the fact that, like, okay, the quality from the X-Men movies to the MCU are vastly different. The MCU is made by people who understand the characters, like the characters, enjoy the characters, and make good, fun movies based around the characters. The X-Men movies, no. I am probably one of the biggest X-Men fans. I love X-Men. I have like three or four long boxes filled with just X-Men comics. I'm like a hundred issues shy of a complete run of Uncanny X-Men. I love X-Men. Those movies are not X-Men. X-Men animated series, there you go, you got it. Those movies, no. They keep missing the mark, especially the new ones, like... First Class, First Class... And the problem with the X-Men movies is they don't even fit in their own continuity. Like, not only are the people making these movies not fans of the comic books, they're not even fans of their own movies. They don't even fit with each other. X-Men 1, you have Cyclops and Storm talking about how they were some of the first students. First Class, neither one of them was there. 
Also explain to me how Cyclops' little brother is his older brother. That makes no sense. Why would you make that choice? I just, I don't understand why that would be a choice you make. If you could explain that to me, I'm here. I'm listening. Write to me in the comments below why and explain because I am listening. I want to know. I do. I really want to know because I just don't get it. I don't get it. Which is why it wouldn't fit. It just, it doesn't mesh. It just, it wouldn't. Although, I would love to see Hugh Jackman come back one more time and be in an Avenger movie. That would be awesome. That would be straight up legit. And I would, I would watch that. I would, I would get into that. I would legitly get into that. But I just, I don't, I think that we need to reboot the X-Men to fit in with the, the MCU. Just kind of like how they rebooted Spider-Man. Which, I mean, have you seen Homecoming? Homecoming is a masterpiece of a movie. It's a John Hughes movie with Spider-Man. You don't get more badass than that. So I just, I don't know, I, I, want, I want them to keep the X-Men away. No, no, no. I want the X-Men to come in. I just don't want the X-Men cinematic universe there. Delete it, reboot it. I, I'm normally very much against reboots. But in this instance, I really, really want to reboot. Really want to reboot. Just so that it can all fit together. That being said, I haven't watched the season finale yet. I'm going to watch it as soon as I'm done uh, recording this. But if, if they do reboot the X-Men Cinematic Universe and all that stuff, please do not touch Gifted. Gifted is such a great show. So leave Gifted alone. Gifted needs to be left alone. Such a great show. But uh, yeah, so this is this has been John's corner, and um, I just I just want to talk about I just want to talk about X Men and if it should come back or not because I just I don't think it should because there's too many contradictions like who were the first students who weren't so and this the quality of it is just it's not those aren't those aren't the greatest comic book movies they're really not like X Men one's pretty good X Men two's pretty good but then why do you need Wolverine origin if you have X Men X two because X two is basically Wolverine's origin why does it need two origin stories X three is such garbage the Wolverine's all right movie uh, first class has its issues like that really racist scene where they they talk about bigotry and racism and then keep the camera on the black dude for way too long and then kill him even though his mutant power is that he literally cannot die and yet he's the only one that dies if anyone could explain that to me I would love to hear the explanation for that then you have um, Days of Future Past which shows you that a bunch of characters you loved from first class died in between the movies for no reason just don't have them in the movie why would you kill them all off it's ludicrous <sighs> Then you have Apocalypse, which takes one of the greatest villains, not just in the X-Men, but in all of Marveldom. Apocalypse. And you butcher him. They ruined that movie, which should have been the holy grail of X-Men movies. And they ruined it. And I'm not ex I, I want. I so want to be excited for Dark Phoenix Saga 2.0, but I'm just... Ah, Last Stand was so bad. And do we really think they'll do better this time? I mean, I hope they do, but do we really think they will? I mean, I don't know. Now, Deadpool and Logan, those movies got it right. Maybe X-Men just needs to be R all the time. Speaking of which, New Mutants is going to be fucking amazing. A horror movie. An X-Men horror movie. Who came up with that idea? But I am so on board. I cannot wait for it. But here, here's the coolest part, I think. This is just my opinion, but I think it's the coolest part. As you do this New Mutants horror movie, I don't know what's what. I, I, I try to avoid trailers because I, I just feel like they give too much information outside. I try to watch one trailer and then just wait to watch the movie. It's, it's very hard, especially with Black Panther. I want to watch the trailer so bad, but I, I want to go into the movie fresh. But um, New Mutants, if they use the characters from the actual New Mutants comic books. Now, Deadpool 2, we know, has Cable in it. You have the potential for X-Force. The New Mutants... Cable, the new means of cable equal X Force. That's what we get. I want that. I want an X Force movie so bad. 
And I'm not talking about X-Force when Wolverine was running around killing people. I'm talking about old school X-Force, which was Cable and the New Mutants. That would be legit. And we have a chance for that. So let's hope that happens. Let's hope that Disney reboots the regular X-Men movies, but keeps the R-rated X-Men movies its own separate thing. And we get X-Force. And we get a badass X-Force. Because I'd be on board for that. Actually, you can incorporate Deadpool into the MCU, and it wouldn't really cause much of a conflict, like I said. And it would even fit with the tone, because you have characters like Punisher and Daredevil, and they fit that darker, grittier stuff. I mean, yeah, it's the Netflix side, but it would still work. You could still make that work. Marvel, if you're listening, please do that. Please do that. I mean, I know you guys are probably mad at me for all the shit I'm talking about with Star Wars, but just... Marvel, Marvel, we got some here, alright? Just do this for me. But, uh, this has been John's Corner. I'm gonna try to start doing this uh, Tuesdays through Friday. Like a Tuesday through Friday series. So if you liked it, give me a big old thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button below. I'm talking to you. And, uh, till next time, give us legends.